when we're faced with a distorted image like this, we can fix it using Photoshop's lens correction filter. It's looking for automatic correction using the camera type, but let's apply some custom controls. In the angle control here, we can drag to change the angle. But it's very hard to do this way as a tiny movement makes a huge change. It's much better for all these controls to click in the field you want and use the up and down cursor keys to change the value. This is changing it by 0.01%. Hold the shift key to make it change by 10 times that. So we can keep that key down until we get close to the kind of angle that we want. The whole image is leaning together, so let's go into the vertical perspective field and again use the up and down arrows with the shift key, release the shift key for more precise control with the cursor keys. That's getting closer, but you can see there's some barreling going on here because of the wide angle lens. We'll go into the remove distortion field and again use the up and down cursor keys, adding the shift key for 10 times the change. And that looks much better. Let's take out a little bit more vertical perspective and make some finer adjustments to the angle. It helps to have the grid visible so it makes it easier to line up the verticals in the image with the verticals that you can see in the underlying grid. And that looks good to me. Hit OK. There's the new version. Here's how it was before. 